gotta lean it. That's <laughs> You got it? We were here just a couple weeks ago to announce an over $730,000 grant for Bayo Dry Dye, uh, which is an incredible recognition of the work that you all do, not just today, but building forward to make sure that this is a state-of-the-art facility for our uh, Navy craft here. Make sure that you're all put to work every single day to continue the incredible work that you do. It's an honor to have it here in Bayonne, to have it here in Hudson County, to have it here in the 8th Congressional District, because this is such an important site for our national security. The work that you all do is appreciated every single day, but to have the opportunity to welcome the Secretary here is an incredible recognition of how important this site is, how incredible the work that you do uh, every single day. And this is my third trip to the Bayonne Shipyard. That tells you just how important the work that you're doing is. I sit on the House Armed Services Committee working hard to direct funding to you. I know you guys are standing on the pavement. It's a hot day, so I'm going to keep my remarks to just about an hour if that works for you. I like to set the bar low. No, but I do really appreciate it. As a sailor myself, I can tell you how important it is to have these resources, to get the ships fixed quickly, back out to sea. Um, this really is a gem and something that we in New Jersey uh, really want to support and really want to see thrive. So thank you for all that you do. There are not enough ways for me on behalf of the American people to thank you for your service, collective service, to our nation. Whether you are actually in the Coast Guard or one of those great Coast Guard ships, or you're serving as a crew member here, either a uniform crew member or a civilian crew member, whether you're serving on this shipyard actually doing the work. So I just simply cannot thank you enough for making that happen. Our nation today faces significant challenges around the globe, whether it's in supporting our Ukrainian brothers and sisters and, and their challenge with regards to the Russian invasion, or whether it's actually deterring China and the Pacific from doing what it wants to do with regards to Taiwan. These are significant national security threats that we have. 